Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. NFL legend shocks with surprising support for Trump in 2020 dash makes me very unpopular. The legendary NFL running back Jim Brown has offered his endorsement to President Donald Trump in his re-election campaign for 2020. That endorsement has not come without personal cost, however, as Brown freely admits the endorsement will make him unpopular among liberal black activists. The 82-year-old was a visible civil rights activist after his days in the NFL and is still considered a formidable force. Brown, 6 foot 2, and 230 pounds dominated football as a running back for the Cleveland Browns back in the 1960s. For decades, Brown has been an activist, particularly for minorities in the inner cities. His American program is designed to empower individuals to take charge of their lives and achieve their full potential, the group says. Inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1971 and eight-time NFL rushing leader, Brown is well known for his work in the black community. Brown made his endorsement for Trump during an appearance on the JT The Brick Show on Fox Sports Radio this week. The Hall of Fame running back did so knowing full well the left would attack him. He noted that he's met many presidents of the past, and was asked how he felt about President Trump. According to the Daily Wire Dash, I should be criticizing Trump on every level because he does certain things that call for criticism but when I look at television I see all these announcers become experts and they're pointing the fingers and they're not doing a doggone thing but pointing their fingers, I find myself really pulling for the president, Brown said. Now, that would make me very unpopular in the black community, very unpopular with a lot of Americans. But I think that there are certain good things that are coming out of this presidency because we've never seen anything like it," Brown said, as reported by TMZ. Brown said it's his duty as a good American. I believe that I have to work on myself first to be as good a person as I could be to back up my country as best as I know how. The NFL legend met with the president-elect in 2016 at Trump Tower to ask how he could best help the black community. Several high-profile athletes, including NBA stars LeBron James and Stephen Curry, have ripped Trump, vowing not to go to the White House if invited. But other prominent blacks, especially rapper Kanye West, have praised the president. You don't have to agree with Trump but the mob can't make me not love him," West wrote on Twitter in April, setting off a firestorm. We are both dragon energy. He is my brother. I love everyone. I don't agree with everything anyone does. That's what makes us individuals. And we have the right to independent thought. Brown added that he believes it is his duty as a good American to support the candidate that has served his community the best, in spite of any consequences that befall him personally, stating, I believe that I have to work on myself first to be as good a person as I could be to back up my country as best as I know how. He has also been extremely vocal regarding just how much he dislikes the NFL's constant protests of the national anthem. Brown is no stranger to civil rights activism, but he believes the national anthem is the wrong time to criticize our country. Brown opined, I believe that I have to work on myself first to be as good a person as I could be to back up my country as best as I know how. And the second situation I should be helpful to those people who need help that don't have life as good as I have it and if I do those two things, I think I'm making my contribution. Brown has met with President Trump before at Trump Tower to discuss the black community and issues that many black people face. Since his election in 2016. Trump's support in the black community has skyrocketed to unprecedented levels for a Republican president. Many view his endorsement as another example of the black community waking up to exactly what is happening to the black community under Democratic leadership. Brown previously noted the three greatest people in my life were white, OK. My high school coach, my high school superintendent and my mentor in Manhasset, Long Island, he said. When I come out of the box, I don't come out of the box as racial. I look for good people and people that will be like-minded and help me try to do good for other human beings." Brown went on to say that the conversation he and Trump had about helping the black community impressed him. He really talks about helping African American, black people and uh, that's why I'm here. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.